sa dami ng pwedeng ma-achieve bilang isang streamer sa Kumu. Isa ni siguro sa pinakamahirap pero pinaka-fulfilling ang pagsali sa campaign. And it perfectly makes sense. But before any of that, kung di mo pa alam kung ano yung campaign sa Kumu, here is a quick rundown. You can think of campaigns as contests for streamers to join. May mga prizes ang pwedeng mo panalunan, anywhere from an air fryer, to an Xbox console, to a luxury trip to Boracay, all the way to a brand new car. To win a campaign, kailangan mong makapaghakot ng diamonds. Enough so you can win kasi hindi naman lahat ng sumasali sa campaign pwedeng manalo. Minsan, top 15 lang ang pinipili, pero may mga oras na top 100 din ang nananalo. Either way, para makapasok sa list of winners, you have to have the highest number of diamonds. So kung gusto mong diretsohin talaga natin yung sagot para sa tanong kung papaano manalo ng campaign, yun na yun. Get enough diamonds to win, period, end of story. Pero kaya ka nga siguro nasa video na to kasi hindi lang naman siguro siya kasindali nun. So I asked Claire, Meek, and Denise for their insights on how to approach campaigns. So, meron akong 3 years and 6 months. Oh! This year is 2022, so most likely 3 years na, magi 3 years na. Well, I've been on Google for like uh, more than 3 years. Okay, and how many campaigns have you done? Plus 20? Many! Or nagpasampu na? 30? 40 plus? How about your most memorable campaign? Siguro ba siya? I was so excited that time. It will be my my first ever like out of the country trip. Kasi sabi ko na tayo, I will not expect na mag top one. That was the first ever um, na nag-stream ako na twice a day. That was Artista for a Day campaign. So it's a uh, it's a game uh, it's a game show on TV5 where you will be their guest singer. Then I was Ramcast. Second place. Okay. Next to MLG. So that's a really a big campaign for me. Most mer memorable campaign ko talaga would be the Wish campaign. I didn't get to win the campaign though, but um, I placed uh, top three pangatlo ko din sa campaign. So it was very special because I didn't just um, I didn't just feel na nanalo ako ng campaign. Parang nanalo din ako when it comes to the support, to the love. You know, that's one thing na that will always make us, or that will always keep us going, right? You know, if we know that there are a lot of people who support us. So next I ask them, bakit nga ba sila sumasali ng campaigns? Some of the answers they gave were probably the same as anyone else's. Diamonds and prizes. After all, the chances of receiving more diamonds are higher when you are campaigning because may common goal kayo ng supporters mo. Pero para sa akin, yung mga hindi ganoon ka-obvious na mga sagot, yung mas magaganda, at mas interesting. To enjoy. Mmm. Thrill. My personal reason bakit ako nag-design yung campaign dahil unang-una, kailangan ko more than I want the campaign. So I always play the two ideas of I want and I need. I need it for my personal growth, I think, as a person. Kasi pag nag-join ka ng campaign, hindi lang siya gusto mula. May mga campaigns na nagjo-join ako because I personally want to experience the campaign. Mahilig akong sumali ng campaign na parang experience kind of campaign. You know, yung you get to do it with an artist, you get to um, uh, experience doing this and that. Hindi siya para material na thing. Napaka-importante rin ng campaign stream schedule mo. You want to be able to maximize your time live so that you can gain as much support as you can. So naturally, gugustuhin mo rin na maging online more often than you normally are. 8 p.m. or 9 to 11. Medyo atok na ako pag-simula ko ng 10. Pag-finals na. Medyo mag-a-adjust ka dyan. The sense kung kailan gising yung mga supporters mo, kung kailan yung availability ng mga gifters mo, your right time slot, you know, your the time slot is really important. Every every after ng campaign ko, magka-campaign ako ulit. I ask for three when I'm campaigning. Um, I make it a point that I stream twice a day. I stream long when I feel like nag enjoy din yung mga people. Pag gustong gusto ko talaga yung campaign, every day, every day ako persistent talaga akong mag-stream. So it's pretty clear na kailangan mong taasan ang frequency ng pagiging live mo kapag nagka-campaign ka. Pero, pagdating sa strategy, which works for them? 
Tama lang ba na kapag nagka-campaign, mag-stream ka sa simula at sa dulo? Sa dulo lang ba? Or all days of the campaign? Malawin ito na ako nag-araw-araw. Usually, uh, mag-join ako ng campaign. Gusto ko simula pa lang nagka-campaign. Mm. You're like an aunt para sa nilang dams na para hindi pa dumarating yung tanalik. You are preparing para somehow you are earning. Kahit maliit lang yan, pag pinagsama-sign, dumalaki yan eh. Para you have that base amount mm-hmm. of diamond. Pag gusto gusto ko talaga yung campaign, every day, Every day ako persistent talaga akong mag-stream and very nagsistick talaga ako sa schedule ko. Ngayon, hindi naman lahat ng streamers nagka-campaign para manalo. Gusto nila mag-campaign kasi yun na nga, mas madali makakuha ng diamonds. At kung ito nga ang goal mo sa ngayon, para sa akin, siguro huwag ka muna mag-campaign. Give yourself some more time to grow. Nangalata ng tao kung pag lalong sa'yo yung ginagawa. Uh, satisfaction for myself. Uh, wow, I did it. So imagine if sobrang sipag mo and you keep doing that, you keep showing people na you're very persistent, you really want to win this campaign. You do it wholeheartedly. Ako kasi, I, I, I want to promote it na my message would really stay in important ko to. And I deserve, I think I deserve this. So please do support me. Parang ganun yung message sana sa mga. Yun lang, huwag ka rin naman mag-antay ng masyadong matagal bago sumali. Kung sa tingin mong hasa ka na at may fighting chance ka, i-go mo na yan. Last thing that you would want is magpadala sa fear and doubt. After all, there's still a lot to learn from a campaign whether you win or you lose. It's either you, you will win or learn from it. Because when you learn or somehow you would say na natalo ka, on the second time around, alam mo na kung ano yung mga yung mga weaknesses mo na kailangan mong improve kasi there's, there's so many streamers na nag-discourage after losing after not getting the company that they want or they need isa din siguro sa mga natutuhan ko it's how to ask properly and how to not exhaust your supporters and at the end of the day you earn diamonds and diamonds is a very big you know help for you as a streamer ayun you just have to like really keep going kailangan mo lang talagang i-try ipakita na you wanna experience this so it doesn't matter you just have to enjoy and i-trash mo din yung mga moments sometimes it's not about ano eh, winning the campaign itself minsan yung yung mga nangyayari dun sa certain campaign yun yung yun yung mas important yun yung mas parang maaalala mo if after watching the interviews ang number one na iniisip mo pa rin is well Carlos ang dali lang naman sabihin yan ng mga ini-interview mo malamang may mga supporters na sila eh nagigets kita Napakadali lang naman din talaga sabihin na magseryoso at maging consistent ka kung marami ka namang supporters to begin with. Kung sa tingin mo hindi pa enough ang support base mo para manalo ng isang campaign, then the best step would probably to not focus on a campaign for now. Asikasuhin mo muna ang growth mo as a streamer by streaming some more and building relationships along the way. Remember na hindi naman binibigay lang sa'yo basta-basta ang support. In most cases, kailangan mo itong paghirapan at pagsikapan. By the way, Kumu also put up their own How to Win a Campaign Guide which I will be putting down below the like button. Pwede mo rin i-check yun kung gusto mo. But for now, this is where the video ends. I hope you learned a thing or two so please hit the thumbs up if you did or maybe you just enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and tap on the notification bell para super updated kayo sa future videos. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.